So there is an assumption that if we want to live a zero waste lifestyle, we need to buy certain things. But it's only half the way through. Of course, we need to buy some things, but we don't need to spend a lot of money on that. And to me, I am also living on a super tight budget and um, I am very, very conscious about the money and um, how I spend my money. Um, also, um, I know about environmental issues and minimalism taught me a lot and especially to simplify my needs actually. And in this video I want to talk about zero waste on the cheap. If we still do not know each other, my name is Dominika and I make videos about low waste, minimalism and veganism. Yeah. So the first tip is um, use up your plastic bags that you already have. We can use it over and over again till it get broken. That's the first thing. So if you go shopping and you still have plastic bags, use them up. Use glass jars. And glass jars for me are essential to live a zero waste lifestyle. I have different sizes. I use them to hold almost everything. I use them to to store um, dry foods, nuts, cereals, grains, also for my leftovers or even for my homemade beauty products. They are perfectly reusable and you can wash them easily. I mostly got my from olives or cucumbers which I buy in glass. If you do not have any glass jars you can take a look at your local thrift shop, make a food plan. I know that for someone it might sound like, oh my god, it's gonna take ages till I uh, prepare something like this, but, but when you get your routine, it's gonna be much more simpler and easier for you. You just need to plan a little bit and be a little organized. What you can do, you can also prepare some recipes and this will definitely simplify your purchases simplify your meals so the first thing is that you should make a checklist of all the foods and meats that you want to eat next week for example and you will less like to leave a store with the things that you don't actually want to buy if you are low on cash I know that you cannot afford to go to a restaurant every single day. That's why you need to simplify your meals. Choose meals with a lot of nutrition, but simplify and use only some ingredients. This will also reduce your stress because you do not have to think about what you're gonna have for dinner. Make your own produce or bulk bags. If you, for example, do not have um, extra money to buy cloth bags, you can simply see your own ones from, for example, your old clothes or pillowcases and stuff like that. You can also, for example, find pillowcases and uh, old fabrics in uh, your local thrift shop or at a second-hand store for a lower price. Also, simplify your non food products that you use. We easily come reliant on some products, especially cosmetic products. Think of your products that you really need and also decide which product you can make on your own at home and for a lot less money. I completely cut out brand name um, creams, face moisturizer, body butters, stuff like that. For me also a plus is that I am not using any makeup or something like that, so I I am not buying this stuff. Most of my cosmetic products I make at home. Um, for example, like lip balm, body butter, deodorant and things like that. It saves me a lot of money and it also actually saves a lot of trash and waste. 
Try to buy second hand before you buy something new. Well, let's be honest, almost everything we can buy at second hand store. I mean, not food and cosmetic products, but um, like things like furniture, kitchen supplies, kitchen machines, even clothes you can buy at second hand and at the cheaper price. Grow your own herbs. And for this, you don't even need a garden or a balcony. Because on your window sale, you can simply grow your own herbs. For example, basil, sage, um, cilantro. Your meal will taste better and you will also save the plastic that herbs from grocery stores um, tend to come. Walk or bike to your destination when possible. I know that not every one of us can afford walk to work if someone lives in a big city. Um, that's totally understandable. But if you, for example, um, are going shopping or you are going for a walk or you are going to your friends or families, try to walk or use your bike. It will save you a lot of money and it will also save our environment because you will reduce your CO2. And the last but not least, when you do buy something new, try to buy something which is in a good quality. And stop buying cheap things. Because if you do not have a lot of money, try to invest your money in a good quality product and not in a cheap things because if you buy something cheap you will probably have to replace the item very quickly and you will spend much more money yeah so I think we come to an end of my zero waste on cheap tips if you have any other tips please write some comments let me know if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to know more on this topic, make sure you read my blog or check me on Instagram where I am posting every single day. And if you don't want to miss any of my other videos, make sure you subscribe. I hope I will see you soon. Ciao!